with TNA. It is COVID and we don't want to cook, so we brought dinner home from Chick fil A. Yay! Chicken Parmesan. Now, I will warn you, they didn't tell me how to cook this because the people at the Chick fil A didn't know. So, let's see what we got. I hope there's instructions. What's the TNA stand for? Tiffany and Allie! Maybe I'll let you talk. <laughs> While she's opening the box, seriously, because it's taking a very long time for over the box, um, it does tell you that it is ready in 25 minutes and each kit serves two. Yes, then they're only $14.99. So it's actually not a bad deal. Chicken Parmesan. And they gave me in a separate pack. It smells so good. Smell that. Oh, you can the see the chicken. chicken already done. All right. Oh, Ooh. wait, look what we have. We have a little placemat and voila, cooking instructions. Woohoo! Woohoo! All right. And we each serving, so each box is enough for two, so it would be $30 for a family of four. And then there you go. Ooh, it even comes with a salad. See, I didn't even know that. Okay, so as she's doing whatever she's doing, putting um, aluminum foil. Oh, there. putting aluminum foil on the pan. It does need to remove the chicken fillets from the packaging and cut them into four strips. Place the reassembled fillets on the prepared cookie sheet. Top each fillet with about half of the tomato sauce and the cheese. I will work on opening that. So those are that, and then this is all the chicken. But we were supposed to cut the chicken up. Yeah, into four strips. It said. Okay. So, because we got two, <clears throat> we got four pieces of nice, and I will tell you that when they were in my car, they were smelling delicious. I don't know if it's delicious. It was hard to wait. Do, do, do. Ooh. I'll put that one a little skinny there. There you go. But, I mean, the lines. Yeah, Chick fil A's the worst. Chick well, yes and no. They look long, but they go through the fastest. They're so, they so efficient. Right, they have the whole two thing there. Oh, yeah, it's crazy. But, so, where we are here, my dad loves Burger King and Whopper, so I have to get them. And the way their parking lot is, it actually ends up blocking an intersection. Oh, jeez. So, <laughs> wow. it's actually hazardous. Like, right. <laughs> they don't. They wow. need to, like, redesign it. But, yeah. And so, I tell my dad, like, I don't want to go at lunchtime. No, you want to go like two, three in the afternoon. Right. <laughs> and right. actually, McDonald's here too because I've had it where it's actually coming up to the roof. Wow. I had to honk at somebody because I guess she stopped. She was in line, but she didn't keep going. <laughs> and, I, and I was like, God, lady, I got to get out of the turning lane. All right. All right, here you go. I'll be able to shut up with the pasta in. Pasta, pasta. Tea with the pasta. There we go. Pasta is perfect. Add a little bit of flour to it or corn starch to kind of thicken it up a little bit if you want to do it. Yeah, cheese would definitely do it. Oh, they should have had some like, uh, you know, Parmesan oh, real. Oh, they do. Could there it we is. Add this cheese to it? Or is that at the end? On the no, that's the thing. Technically, that was supposed to be on the other cheese, but I say go for it. Add that to this. Okay. Here has all oh, like, the cheese. Skinnier. Actually, you know what it is? The skinniest in the family is no cheese stuff is skinny. Oh, right. How is it, Aaron? What's the review? Well, I believe it is full tilted. Yeah, I mean, good or bad. That's always good. But sometimes weird because it's Alfredo and red sauce at the same time. Yeah, well, parma chicken parmesan is always. Is Chicken parmesan is usually, is usually, is, is usually tomato sauce, but noodles is usually Alfredo sauce, so. Yeah, you don't want to bite? right. With it all mixed up, it's good. I appreciate it if you tried it with an open mind.